Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to use live transcribing in Microsoft Teams. We'll cover how to enable live transcription for your organization, how to start live transcriptions in a Teams meeting, and how to download a transcript after a meeting. Before we start, let's talk briefly about why live transcription is useful. First, it's beneficial for attendees who are hard of hearing, or who can't hear the presenter for other technical reasons. It's also beneficial for team members who couldn't attend, as transcriptions can be downloaded after the meeting ends. To enable live transcriptions for your organization, start by opening your admin center. From there, click the menu icon in the top left. Head down and click on show wall to reveal more options. Then select Teams from the revealed options. Now click the menu icon in the top left of the Teams Admin Center. Head down and click on Meetings to reveal more options. Then select Meeting Policies from the revealed options. Next, click on your Global Policy and scroll down to the section titled Recording and Transcription. There, toggle on Transcription. Then click the Save button. And finally, hit Confirm. Now that live transcription has been enabled, you can use it in a Teams meeting. To start, open a new meeting and head up to More, or the three dots at the top of the window. Go to Record and Transcribe in the drop-down. Then go across to Start Transcription. Select a language if required, and then hit Confirm. Now, with the mic turned on, your speech will be translated into text in real time. And you can view the transcript in the chat on the right side of the window. You can also download the whole transcript as a Word document. To do that, head to the channel where the meeting took place. You should find the meeting in the Posts tab. There, click the three dots. Then select Download as DocX from the drop-down. In Chrome, you can open the document from the download bar at the bottom. And when Word opens, you can view or edit the transcript. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.